In this video, I'm going to talk you through this question, which was used as a starter in one of my lessons. It says, work out the missing angles and state your reasoning. O is the center of the circle, which is right there, and AD is the diameter. So A is there and D is there. So this goes back to one of the first rules that I taught you on uh, circle theorems, and that is that the angle at the circumference of a semicircle is 90 degrees. So here is our semicircle, this top part here, and there's the angle at the circumference. So automatically we know that that's 90 degrees. If that's 90 and that's 32, then B is going to be 90 plus 32 minus the answer of that from 180, and that's going to give us 58 degrees. Now we can start slowly working away our way through the remaining angles. So another thing to notice is that D and F are going to equal 90 degrees because this is again a right angle triangle and D and F both make up the 90 degrees but we obviously need to work out the individual amount for each one. So let's start off with E. So as we can see this is a straight line so 70 degrees plus something is going to be 180 and that E is going to be 110 10 degrees so that's 1 10 okay and what we can see is that this is if this is the center of the circle which is O then this line going to the circumference and this line going to the circumference are both the same because going from the center to the circumference is a radius and both of them start at the same place and end at the circumference so therefore we have an isosceles triangle so F and G are exactly the same. To work out both of them, it's going to be 180 minus 110, which gives us 70 degrees. And because they're both the same, we're just going to do 70 divided by 2, which is 35 degrees. So G and F are 35 degrees each. So that's 35 and that's 35. Now, if F is 35 and F and D are going to make 90 degrees, then it's literally 90 minus 35, which equals 55 degrees. Okay, so D is 55 degrees. And then if we look at um, this triangle over here, going from O to A, that's a radius. I'm going from O to C. There's also a radius. Now it's also an isosceles triangle, meaning C should be 55 degrees. Now, another way to check that is if you just want to add up 70 and 55, and then the remaining angle is going to make up 180 degrees. Well, if you did it that way, the angle would still be 55 degrees. Let's just double check that. 50 at 50 is 100, 5 at 5 is 10. That's 110 plus the 70 is 180 degrees.